Thank you for tuning in to Nadia's Kitchen Creations. This week I'm making elk kebabs. You will need one pound of ground elk or beef or red meat of your choice. You'll need half a teaspoon of all purpose seasoning. Use your favorite kind. I used a spicy chili variety. You'll need half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, which I just like to use cinnamon in red meats, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, And then you're going to need two to three garlic cloves and just crush them, either chop them really finely by hand or use a garlic press. You'll also need two small or one large onion cut into chunks for the skewers and also about six to eight mushrooms cut in half. So once that's all ready and prepared in a clean bowl, we're gonna add our ground meat and add the ingredients that we have pre-measured out minus the mushrooms and the onions. And then we're gonna add some fresh black pepper to taste. approximately one tablespoon of ketchup and mix it well. At this point, you can refrigerate your kebab mixture for up to 24 hours, or you can cook them right away. This is a great thing to do the night before or first thing in the morning before you leave for work or school, and then prepare them in the evening for dinner or even lunch on a weekend. You can use metal skewers or wooden skewers. I chose wooden skewers and just soak them in water for at least 20 minutes, but an hour or two would be ideal to soak them. We're gonna go ahead and prepare our baking dish before we start forming our kebabs and just a little bit of oil on a baking pan. So I divided this mixture into eight even pieces and then you're gonna go ahead and start building your kebabs. For the full recipe, you can head on over to my blog, nadiadanella.com, where you can also print the recipe. Links are in the description box. So you can alternate your veg and meat onto the skewers and I use two sections of meat per skewer. So you can just do all onions or all mushrooms or peppers or vegetable that will easily hold onto a skewer. So yeah, just mushrooms, onion, kebab, onions, the second piece of meat, and then just repeat that until you're done. And you're gonna bake these in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 to 45 minutes. And times will vary with your personal oven and the size of your kebabs, if you make them bigger or smaller or a different shape. Yeah, about halfway through, I like to flip my skewers and then pop them back in the oven to finish cooking. So these are the end products, our elk kebabs. You can serve this with a tortilla or a pita or with a side salad and some rice. I just chose some nice fresh greens that I got from the market. You can add your favorite sauce with this. As you can see, I like onions and they're so sweet when they're cooked. Oh, anyway, yeah, you can add your favorite sauce with that. I just chose barbecue sauce. You can use a maybe a tahini or some a garlic sauce. There's so many different sauces that you can use. I just chose what was quick and easy. And of course you don't have to add any sauces at all if you want to watch your sugar or fat intake. 
So I do hope that you give these a try and thank you so much for watching Nadia's Kitchen Creations and I'll see you in the next one.